everybody, how's it going? It's Jamie, your crafty DIY guy, and I'm back. I have some fantastic DIYs for you that are all back to school themed. Now, I know that a lot of the kids are not going back to traditional school. A lot of them are doing virtual, but these are just fun, different, fun DIY items that you can do with your kids. Perhaps you can even do them for their teacher or maybe their favorite teacher. And even though we're in a virtual world right now, hey, just have fun with it and enjoy these projects. Hey, if you're one of my long-term subscribers or one of my newer subscribers, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. I am just loving all of the interaction with all of you guys and I absolutely love filming videos and doing projects for you. Um, I would love to hear if you think I should do something different or if you want me to do something um, maybe special for you. Let me know, feel free to add it in the comments, but until then, let's just get started on the video, all right? Thanks, guys. All right, everyone, for project number one, we are going to take 10 wooden Dollar Tree rulers. Also, you're going to grab one of these glass vases. First, we're gonna take a rubber band and just stretch it over the glass vase, kind of like so. You're gonna do this because it's gonna actually help hold the rulers in place when you are gluing them down. You can take your rulers and you can decide whether you want them to all kind of be facing the same way or it's totally up to you. And as you can see here, I'm working my way around just taking the E6000, putting it on the bottom part of the ruler and then adding it just inside that rubber band. And then once I get this last one in, I'm gonna go ahead and just adjust it all just a little bit, just to make sure I have some decent even spacing all the way around. Now, I love this technique so much that I decided to go ahead and do a pencil version. Now, full disclosure, I don't have enough pencils. I'm just gonna be doing one side of this just so you can see. But again, we're gonna grab the uh, rubber band there. And then these pencils are already sharpened, which I think are super cute. But I'm going to be using my pencils, and you probably will as well. So instead of gluing these down, what we're going to do is we're actually still going to put them in between the rubber bands, but we're going to leave them kind of like this. Now, if I had two packages of pencils, I could go all the way around, but I can't, so we're going to fake it and just pretend. And then I'm going to take this rubber band and actually replace it with some cotton twine, kind of like you see here. Now, I love this setup. The tall vases um, are perfect for flowers or even pens and pencils. But I'm looking at that Crayola box and I think, hmm, I can make something with these guys. So I took my box of 64 crayons and also grabbed a Dollar Tree canvas. This particular one is an 11 by 14 size that I did pick up at Dollar Tree. You could really use any size canvas you want to do this project. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I've got 64 crayons to choose from, so I'm going to go through this box and I'm going to pick all of my favorite colors. And literally, I'm just taking them and just placing them on the canvas, kind of like you see here. Um, I'm not really worried right now about the setup or how they're going to go. I just want to make sure I get enough crayons to go completely across that canvas. Before starting this art project, I do need to remove all of the labels from my crayons. To do that, I'm going to be using my tool from Slice. This is their manual mini cutter. What I love about this tool is not only does it have a retractable blade, but also that blade is a finger friendly blade. Check that out, I am not cutting myself. Oh, and by the way, that blade, it'll stay sharper 11 times longer than a metal blade and it doesn't rust, pretty cool. What also makes this little tool super handy and very convenient is that it has a built-in magnet in the tool itself. So when you're done with it, you can literally put it on your magnetic board, on your pegboard, and it will always be within reach for you. After slicing through all of those labels on my crayons, I just arranged it on my canvas board. You can do this in any pattern that you like. It totally is up to you. Then take out your heat gun and just start heating up those crayons and you will see that it starts to drip down your canvas kind of like so. I do have my canvas tilted just a little bit. I have it propped up with a vase actually behind it and uh, that allows for that wax to just kind of start dripping down the canvas kind of like so. This is a slower process for sure. Um, you'll want to do this in I would say sections. I kind of is starting at the end and then I'm kind of using that heat gun and going back and forth across the crayons. 
but uh, you'll see that the color really starts to develop just kind of on the one side first. And then eventually it'll get to a point where it's kind of like this, where you can start to see all the different color combinations. And sorry for that wonky camera angle there, but uh, you can kind of see how everything is starting to melt. And then it will kind of clump up and there will be pieces of the crayons that will fall off, kind of like you're seeing here. And uh, eventually you'll get something that you love so you'll peel away all of those crayons that were left at the top there, and you can see that it reveals your board as well, which is great because you've got some white at the bottom and some white at the top, and then hang it on the wall. Hang it on the wall. You could frame it if you had a frame that fit this particular size. I did not, and uh, it makes just kind of a cool statement. I love it. And for my last project, I'm going to be making a letter board. We're going to be using a couple packages of Dollar Tree magnets. You can either use the smaller one or the larger one. For my project, I'm actually going to be using the smaller packages. Also, I grabbed two of these wooden dowel rods that are square. I was able to pick these up at Michael's the last time I went. And then for my tray, I'm actually going to be using this Valentine's tray. This was gifted to me by my friend Belinda and uh, it came, I think, in a Michael's grab bag. For painting the magnets, the easiest way to do this is to stick your magnets on a piece of scrap metal, kind of like I have here, and then simply just paint them with chalk paint. I did this uh, very, very easily, and I did two coats of white chalk paint on mine. Now, if you are uber talented and you can freehand paint your letters, then go for it. I am not that talented. That's why these are Dollar Tree stickers. <laughs> now, I took my tray outside and I did spray paint it. I didn't film that part. I actually forgot to take my camera out there. Um, I do not like the way that this backing looks, though, with this gray. I'm not happy with this at all. So what I'm going to do instead is cover the gray with this wood grain contact paper that I also had from Dollar Tree. Luckily, I had a roll of this in my stash. To make sure I have a perfectly straight edge, I'm going to use my tool from Slice. Again, this is the manual mini cutter that retails for $9.99, by the way. And uh, I'm going to just go right along the ruler and just peel off. You can see how easily that cuts. And I'm going to have the perfect size paper that I can just fit right into my tray. I cut down my sticks so that they would fit inside of the tray kind of like so. And then I'm going to take these sticks and paint them red with my Waverly chalk paint. After that paint has dried, I'm going to then glue these down in uh, two rows kind of like so. For my personal message, I wanted it to say, be great. You could do this really in anything that you wanted to. The great thing about those little magnets is you can create as many letters as you want to literally give yourself your very own custom letter board. I think this is super cool. I love this one. 